I don't know if this will actually help, but we're going to try. Oh, wow, this is a great one. Case eight. I, I could do this one. Okay. Uh, so this is a big, well-circumscribed modular thing um, with a very flat epidermis. And um, it's very, very just kind of like pink and hypocellular, even at a low power. Mm -hmm. um, and it has a bit of a pattern to it that I think really helps me that they call it like a plywood pattern. Let's see if we can get it to come into focus. We'll try. Get it to come in. This is like how the internet was in the 1990s. <laughs> and the internet's fine. It's just this website, this server is very slow, unfortunately. So, all right, there, yes. Now we can see that derm's nice circumscribed nodule. It's got a little uh, collarette and a nexal kind of uh, collarette or epidermal collarette, whichever name you like. Um, and the not normal dermis at all, right? Completely replaced by dense, dense pink sclerotic collagen with very low cellularity. And, you know, my, my uh, mentor and fellowship, Doug Parker, always said that, you know, the difference between fibrosis and sclerosis, both of them have dense collagen or increased collagen, but fibrosis is collagen plus an increase in spindle cells, and sclerosis is a bunch of collagen without very many spindle cells. And I thought that was a nice nice way to think of that. Sometimes there's overlap, but this is very sclerotic collagen, and then has these cracks in it that are artifactual, and the cracks make this kind of swirled and whirled appearance that looks kind of wood grain, right? Like plywood, like you said. So what is this called? Yeah, sclerotic fibroma or plywood fibroma, uh, people say, or <clears throat> story form collagenoma is another name for it. You've got to have multiple names for things in Dermpath, of course. And sometimes you can see them um, with some giant cells. And sometimes when, when there's a bunch of giant cells, I've heard people use the term giant cell collagenoma for those. Uh, okay, I mean, that's fine. Uh, and, uh, okay, what if a patient has, uh, there sometimes patients have these sporadically, but also sometimes they're associated with a certain syndrome. Do you know what that is? Uh, yeah, exactly. These patients, Cowden syndrome patients develop these, but you can also see them as a sporadic um, incidental finding unassociated with Cowden's. And Cowden's is a syndrome with a P10, uh, a germline P10 gene mutation and, and a, pr a proclivity to develop, a, or I'm a a um, increased risk of developing a variety of different types of internal cancers. So um, this is a really great example of sclerotic fibroma. Also, I will point out that this plywood pattern can sometimes be seen in other things, particularly I, I've seen it in dermatofibromas. Dermatofibromas, I, I've seen examples that looked like DF but had areas that became kind of plywood uh, or sclerotic fibroma-like. But this is a really, really great example of one of these. Okay, perfect. Well done. Any questions?